Hello guys, in this video tutorial we will tell you how to add the testimonial feature to your app. Log into your account and go to your business dashboard. Click on manage app and you'll be redirected to the overview page. Next click on edit under the edit test and go live section. Now to add the testimonial feature, click on the add future button in the sidebar. Then click view all and search testimonial. Click on the future to add it to your app. Once you added the feature, you will see the feature listed in my Future section, where you can edit, customize, and organize your added features the way you want. Now hover over the feature and you will have options to show hide the feature, edit and customize the feature, delete the feature, and move the feature. Now let's check out all what you can do with the newly added testimonial feature. Click on the pencil icon here to edit and customize the feature. This is your page or future name. If you want, you can change it as per your needs. From here, you can change the feature icon. If you want, you can select a solid icon or an outline icon or an image from a library or upload your own custom icon image. You can even upload two different images for the mobile app and website. Let's move to the content section now. This section allows you to post positive experiences of your customers. Here, you can upload your customers or clients image in the name field, enter the name of your customer. Next, enter your customer's testimonial in the common field. This field supports rich text formatting that helps you control the appearance of your text and lets you deep link the text as well. Click on the add more button here to add multiple clients testimonial. From here, you can delete the testimonial. Now let's change the layout and color scheme of the testimonial feature. Click on this color palette icon here to change the page style and color scheme. Click on the background icon here and select an image for the page background. If you want, you can select an image from a library, solid, color, or upload your own custom background image. Next, select your desired layout from the given options. From here, you can set the page elements, color, font size, and indent. You can even hide the borders by enabling this toggle here if you want. Now let's move onto the in-app purchase section and enable in-app for this feature. Click the in-app settings icon in the side menu. Then under in-app settings, enable the in-app toggle and provide the necessary credentials in the required fields. Please note you can enable in-app for both Android and iOS. To get the credentials, you can click on the question mark icon and refer to our tutorial. After providing the credentials, you can use them as global credentials by checking this checkbox here Please note, you can also add new credentials if you want. Once you're done, click on save to save the changes manually or directly click the publish button to see the reflection of your latest updates on your mobile app. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates as soon as they are live.